Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DespairRepair.com. In this video we'll show you what to do if you lost your gas cap. Although it doesn't seem likely, it's a pretty common mishap that may happen to you sooner or later. If it does, this video should help you. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. In most situations you won't notice that the gas cap is missing until the next refilling. The first sign that may probably appear is the check engine light coming up on the dash. But this isn't always the case and it may not happen immediately but after you've driven a few dozen miles. A good thing on some cars is that there's a convenient warning light dedicated exclusively to a loose gas cap that goes on immediately after you start the car. But this isn't present on all cars. Besides this, one more sign is a strong smell of fuel around the car when you make your next stop. But in most cases, the truth is that you won't notice until you're long gone from the gas station. Buying a universal gas cap is the best solution apart from buying the original cap. You can find these at most gas stations or convenience stores. Every gas station sells these because this is a pretty common mishap among drivers. As you'll see, the caps are usually made from plastic or rubber and are a universal fit for all cars. Installing the cap is easy, just push inwards and turn until it sits in. When removing, just twist and pull it out. You're bound to have some sort of cloth in the car. In this case, we've used a chamois cloth. It can do the job, but it can also get ruined by gas. It would be best if you have some old rags. Just make sure it doesn't have any dirt on it or doesn't tear up easily so you don't accidentally get any debris inside the gas tank. Just push the cloth inside and clog the filler neck. It should hold for some time. One more common item around the car is a plastic bag. Use it just like the cloth. Crumple the bag and push it inside the filler neck. Be careful not to tear it. Another option is to wrap the bag around the filler neck and tighten it. You can use a zip tie or rubber band if you happen to have one. Since this isn't likely, you can try using a piece of string or a shoelace for instance. You can also use aluminum foil. Wrap the foil around the filler neck and shape a cap around it. As you'll see, it will close the filler neck pretty good and have a nice hold on it. Again, be careful not to tear it. You're bound to have a smaller plastic bottle around the car. If you also happen to have a knife, box cutter, scissors or else in your toolkit, then this tip can perhaps help. Use the box cutter or knife to cut off the bottom of the bottle. As you'll see, you'll get a decent little plastic cap. Most of these bottles will fit on the filler neck and hold up pretty good. Of course, watch your hands when cutting. The answer to this question is yes, you can, and in most cases you won't have any major problems. Perhaps the main reason is that, luckily, most cars have a safety valve or safety gate at the top of the filler neck that additionally prevents gas from spilling out. But nevertheless, if you don't have a gas cap, use some of these tips to close the filler neck completely or as much as possible, especially if you're going to have to drive for a longer period of time. If the check engine light appeared, it should go off after you've put a new gas cap on. For the end, try to make a habit of leaving the cap in the proper place if it isn't connected by a tether. Making this a habit almost eliminates the problem of losing a gas cap. Also, if you're lucky and saw on time that the gas cap is missing and you haven't driven that far away from the gas station, turn around and try to find it. Sometimes you may get lucky and find the cap or someone might have been kind enough to leave it at the pump. Usually, the worker at the pump finds it. 
When the cap is missing, try to avoid fast driving and sudden braking because this causes gas splashes inside the tank and increases the possibility of spilling around. Know that all of these tips are just a first aid measure until you buy a new gas cap. So don't make a habit of driving around without one, solve the problem as soon as possible. A new original gas cap is by far the best solution. So that's it for this time, hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.